Well, hello, my friends. So this is going to be a quicker video than I normally do. I don't have a lot. I do have two cars I want to um, showcase, talk about. But then I also have uh, something I'm going to flash in front of the screen because I think one of my friends said, oh, I have four of the six and I need these two. And I think this is one of the two they need. So, um, Sal was saying that uh, I believe he got four of these, several of them from Fireman Cancelled or Fireman Food, I think it was. And um, I think I only own one of these punch buggies myself. Uh, or Yeah, punch buggy or a uh, slug bug punch buggy. And this one, uh, World Class Dog Walkers, which... Black wheels and brown and white. I think this is the one. Yeah, because it looks black and white there on the card, but it looks brown and white there. But that's it. That's got to be it. So, uh, or was it this? I don't have that one. But anyway, so, Sol, no secret. So that'll be yours in, in, in short order or you know, in its time. Uh, so, uh, no big real send up on this. I had teasies before I'd shown, so um, the uh, Checker Cab, the Checker Marathon um, is an interesting casting. You know, the history of Checker uh, Automotive, I guess you'd call it, um, is they were built specifically to be taxis. Um, the, uh, the Marathon, this model, Checker is the company and Marathon is the model. Uh, but they were rarely called Marathons, but they did actually sell civilian versions. You could buy these, which was kind of weird. Uh, but, uh, and I've only ever seen a handful in my lifetime. So that's the green light. Uh, and this is a 1974 Checker taxi cab. Um, and this should be, uh, yeah, this is the Hollywood. So this is from the TV show Taxi. So I think that's Sunshine Taxi Company. So we'll take a look at that in a second. And then, of course, that gives me an opportunity to open this thing. Um, and this is uh, a checker cab um, from Matchbox. And what year is it? 2013, 2014? 2014 copyright here, so 2015, I guess. Um, we will open this up. These are the only checkers uh i'm not big on taxis i have a few i have uh i think two um what do you call oh yeah crown victorious yeah um so it's amazing these checkers date back to i think this particular the marathon i think came out in the early 60s. Um, and they were they were common sites up until the early 80s. I don't know when uh, Checker stopped production, went out of business, uh, but these are amazing. So, and again, this is, this is uh, a Matchbox Basics, a Matchbox Checker cab. All right, and what do we have here? Copyright 2003, I guess, for the original casting. 2015 must be this updated casting. Uh, so you got a metal body plastic base. Um, nice tamper work on the sides here. Cab number 63, cab. MBX Metro City. So I do not know if they were sold outside the United States. So, oh, one other thing I wanted to point out that I can see through the card, believe it or not, if I can get, yeah, is this is a 162nd scale. 162, hold on. Yeah. So this is technically slightly small. I think it's going to be a little bit more than slightly small when we compare it to this. Now, this is the green light. This should be true 164. Um, let's see what we can see about, uh, so, uh, uh, Andy Kaufman, 
tragically died young. Um, oh, I forget her name. She was also in The Princess Bride. Danny DeVito, Tony Danza. Uh, this really pretty redhead that everybody thought was going to be huge, and she really didn't be... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. And then uh, Doc Brown from uh, Back to the Future, Christopher Lloyd. And this is 2020 copyright. So let's see, this should be pretty cool. Do you miss the old days when I used to pull out the knife and slit the play? <laughs> uh, I can't do that on TV anymore. Huh? So this is pretty cool. Uh, and other than the cab company, which I believe is Sunshine Cab Company, everything else looks very legit for New York City. Let's see. Five, 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 six, eight, two. Little round reflector, painted headlights. Let's see. I. Uh, okay. Hood opens. Now, a checker marathon built the cars and so forth, but they bar they borrowed the mechanicals. They bought them from um, several suppliers for for the longest time. I think in the end they were using Chevy small block. V8s, but they were also available with inline sixes. They might have even used other uh, companies, say uh, Ford or Chrysler. So it's got a license plate there, which I'm sure if I look on a bigger screen will be a New York City. It should be. That's looking pretty good. The old taxi sign. Probably the best one you'll see in diecast because they just don't bother doing them. They do them with like I'll show over there. Uh, wheel covers. I couldn't tell you. I mean, they they look of a period. Uh, I don't remember most most of the cabs that I saw when I was a kid. The wheel, one wheel cover would be flying off or something. So we have the number, the plate number, tail lights, uh, some nice details there. So that is pretty cool. Let's just compare it size-wise. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger. But in a diorama, they would sit well enough together. You know, I'd have the uh, green light out front and the... Uh, Trying to use perspective to hide the other one's le lesser details. But that is very cool. So, uh, Matchbox doesn't say what year it is. They just say, Checker Cab. And Taxi goes with 1974. So that, that makes sense. So, Matchbox and Greenlight, Checker Marathon Taxi. All right. Um, and I'm going to try and make a video tomorrow on Sunday. I may not. There is actually uh, a parade going on not too far from me that some of my family may be at. Uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. And since I haven't seen most of my family in quite a while, I might might take a trip out there so if i do that i don't know if i'll make a video so uh thanks for watching um i hope you enjoyed this and uh, i will talk to you soon have a good day bye